Good day, dear people of God. I welcome you to this 17th day of Lent. On behalf of our diocesan and missioner, the most reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakaye. My name is Reverend Moses Opara. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us another opportunity to hear your word. We ask that you give us the knowledge and the understanding to process these words and the wisdom to apply them to our daily lives to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our theme this year is divine satisfaction. And our topic is path to divine satisfaction, perseverance. Our text is Luke chapter 18 from verse 1 to 7. Perseverance, or to persevere, is doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. It is consistent effort to do something or achieve something even when it is difficult or taking a long time. Perseverance is typified by two main factors, consistency and challenges or resistance. So consistency, in spite of challenges or resistance, is perseverance. In our text, Luke 18, the Bible tells us about a certain judge in a city. This judge had no fear of God and no regard for man either. And there was a widow in that same city looking for justice. The Bible tells us that this woman was so persistent and consistent in her request, despite the challenges this judge posed to her goal, that one day the judge said, even though I don't fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, because she has persevered in her request, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Jesus uses this parable to teach the church the efficacy of perseverance as a path to achieving divine satisfaction. Perseverance in prayer, perseverance in our Christian walk, Perseverance in spite of trials and tribulations that would come our way. Jesus gives us an assurance in John chapter 16 verse 33. He says, These things have I spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you would have tribulations. Why? In Revelation chapter 12 verse 12, the Bible says, Woe to you inhabitants of the earth and sea, because the devil has come to you, having great wrath. But Jesus says, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. It's time to begin another 40-day journey of blessing, restoration, healing, and glory through intensive study of God's Word as year 2022 Lenten season begins. Theme, Divine Satisfaction. Accept this special invitation from our Archbishop and Diocesan, His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Lumakaye, as you join God's people in the nearest parish of Anglican Diocese of Lagos from Ash Wednesday 2nd of March 2022 to Saturday 16th of April 2022. Physical meetings hold between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. daily at any parish nearest to you or online via Facebook at Diocese of Lagos, YouTube, at Lagoon TV or Lagoon Radio. It's another opportunity to experience a glorious time in the presence of the Lord. Don't miss it. So we are not hopeless. We are not part of the world who see trials and tribulations as the end. On this side of the cross, we persevere through tribulation because we know that it is the path to our divine satisfaction. Because we know that Jesus has overcome the world. In Romans chapter 5, verse 3, the Bible says, And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. So we're not just going to persevere through tribulations, we are also going to take pride in it, because we know that it is going to build in us perseverance, character, and then give us hope. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Looking unto Jesus as our example for perseverance. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. 
So if we can follow our master's example and persevere through the cross, keeping the goal in mind and looking unto Jesus, our divine satisfaction will be assured. May God give us understanding of his word in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Give us, O Lord, the grace to persevere and not fall by the wayside as we journey to our divine satisfaction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me on the 17th day of the Lenten Diet broadcast of the Diocese of Lagos Anglican Communion. Join us tomorrow at the same time and the same platform. On behalf of the Diocesan and Missioner, the Most Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakaye, I am the Reverend Moses Okpara. God bless you. It's time to begin another 40-day journey of blessing, restoration, healing, and glory through intensive study of God's Word as year 2022 Lenten season begins. Theme, Divine Satisfaction. Accept this special invitation from our Archbishop and Diocesan, His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Lumakaye, as you join God's people in the nearest parish of Anglican Diocese of Lagos from Ash Wednesday 2nd of March 2022 to Saturday 16th of April 2022. Physical meetings hold between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. daily at any parish nearest to you or online via Facebook at Diocese of Lagos, YouTube, at Lagoon TV or Lagoon Radio. It's another opportunity to experience a glorious time in the presence of the Lord. Don't miss it. Oh.